Welcome back everybody. Now I'm going to start this video with full disclosure. This review is based on a sample that the brand, the perfumer, sent to me uh, as a free sample along with the other two releases from Chronotope. So if you think that I won't be able to give an impartial review of this perfume based on the fact I got a free sample then it might be time for you to skip to another video and I'll hopefully see you later. But this is my review of Buen Camino from Chronotop Perfumes. This was released last year in oh, second half of 2020 I think. I got, I got my sample, I've had my samples for at least six months and I'm right at the end of my sample of Buen Camino. Now I wanted to do a review of this one because this is the one I've worn the most. I've basically finished the sample and the one I connected with the most. So let's get onto it. I have got the dry down here and I've got a little bit left just so I can talk about the opening a little bit for this video. All right, there we go. Squeeze the last drops out of that. Now, I encourage everybody, if you're interested in this perfume and the perfumes of Chronotope, to check out the website because Carter has uh, got uh, descriptions of what inspired each perfume, what, what the story is behind it. But I, I need to stress that when I do reviews, uh, I try not to, I guess, get too involved with the inspiration behind perfumes because I need to make it about me and how I can connect with the perfume. Uh, and, and that's happened a lot. A lot of times I'm attracted to trying a perfume based on the inspiration, based on the story behind it. Uh, but then I need to make a personal connection with it, which, which I think probably most of you guys uh, would as well. Buen Camino, uh, the dominant accord note you'll smell is a lavender. Now here the lavender is, the best way that I can describe it in my head is it's, it's, it's been drained of all its uh, verdancy, it's, it's uh, what, what I would describe as its natural greenness and what you're left with is kind of the floral aspect of the lavender but it's it's grey and and I'm not saying that in any negative way what I smell here is is nature growing nature regenerating in an urban environment you know, you'll notice when you, if you live in an urban environment with lots of cement and asphalt and mad man-made constructions, and if you take a moment to, like, you know, just walk down the street, you'll you'll see that uh, you'll see something growing in a crack, uh, and it it kind of reminds you that nature is basically unstoppable, regardless of what we build over the top of it. I'm getting a little bit philosophical here, but this is this is the imagery that the opening evokes in me. So it's, I think, a lovely lavender note and lavender surprisingly done different because as you all know, lavender is uh, a note in perfumery that is, is um, you know, present in many, many genres, many perfumes. And you might, you know, like you might be thinking, what else can you do with it? Well, something different is happening here with this lavender. Now this grayness I talk about might be also this accord. Uh, there, there are a couple of notes here in the official note pyramid, uh, asphalt dust. Now I get that, I definitely get that, but I, I think it's kind of blurry for me where the lavender ends and that part of the perfume begins. I, I, I get this rubber, rubber on the road accord as well. There is a rubberiness in here. And I've mentioned this before and I've spoken about this perfume that, that this, when I, when I wear it and when I smell it, 
it, it definitely takes me back to road trips. Now here in Australia, um, if you spend, you know, if you spend any reasonable amount of time driving, mainly what you're going to get on a, on a highway, uh, you know, agricultural fields, uh, some, you know, depending where you're driving, obviously trees and bush and all of that kind of thing. And this is what I'm smell. This is what I'm smelling with this fragrance. This is what I'm reminded of. And I've mentioned in previous videos when I've spoken about Buen Camino uh, that it it feels like uh, I'm I'm driving late at dusk on a summer day with my with my window down and having that that breeze circulating, all that smell from the car, the road, and nature outside coming through wind in my hair and yes I'm aware of the irony of that statement right now uh, it is it is just a beautifully evocative scent for me and and that's why it becomes more it transcends more than just uh, a, you know and your regular lavender aromatic the, the the beauty of this scent is that not only is it an artistic composition but more importantly, it's completely wearable. There is there is nothing that about the wearing of this scent that puts me uh, ill at ease at any point in the in the in its development. Uh, and I have to say, the the lavender stays uh, a little bit, and the more floral aspects come out as well. And I get I get traces of other things uh, like you know these these kind of citrus notes um i i can't say that i actually get any kind of gourmand aspects uh, that that uh are indicated in in on fragrantica like i actually don't pick up any of the of the almond um and the immortelle whatever it's doing here is not an immortelle that that i am overly i guess uh familiar with uh, I you know I have immortal perfumes and I know them to be a certain way here whatever it's doing maybe is providing a little bit of that um, the the dry fields to the side of the road as I'm as I'm driving a little bit of warmth from the sun going down but it's just it's just a beautiful beautiful scent um, and I do want to say that deep in the dry down uh, and this isn't a, a listed official note but I get this beautiful uh, smooth velvety urbane vetiver accord it's not wild and earthy and grassy but it's all it's almost like uh, it's almost like a a very very polished vetiver accord that I get really deep in the dry down there's almost like an, a sweetness to it uh, as well when it when it finally dries down performance for this is uh, okay for me like six hours on my skin not huge projection or sillage and I do want to say also um, you know how people will name scents that they will you know they like to wear on a rainy day in or they might only wear when they're at home for me this is an outdoor scent like I, and i don't mean that to be where i will only wear this if i'm going to spend time outdoors i mean that if i spray this on I'm, i almost get the urge to be outdoors uh it it has that kind of effect on me and i th this is just a way that i connect with this perfume Buen Camino from Chronotope. Um, so <clears throat> my sample is empty and it looks like uh, I will have to look into buying a bottle for myself very soon but please check out uh, check out Chronotope they do samples if you if you want to if you want to try them uh, I'll leave an Instagram uh, account link for Chronotope as well so you can check them out there and that's really all I have to say. So if you've tried any of this house, please let me know. Uh, and I will see you all very soon. Thank you and goodbye.